I'm Keith with On Target Canada. One of the neat things about knowing a bunch of people in the shooting community is you sometimes get access to things that most people don't. Uh, in my case, it's knowing somebody who's got their prohib, uh, prohibited license, and it allows me to uh, play with some stuff that you generally wouldn't get to see. An example is this one here. Uh, because of the caliber of this handgun, it falls under the what's called the 12.6 prohibited clause. Um, nobody new can get these uh, type of guns, especially in 32 uh, caliber. But um, we have somebody who owns one, and they've graciously brought it out. Stu, thanks for coming out. No problem. Uh, once again, we were bringing out the prohibited handguns. Mm -hmm. uh, this time, uh, 32 caliber. That's right. And uh, you were telling me a little bit of a story before we, we started shooting this uh, about what you think or how you think this gun came to be. Um, first of all, what is this? Well, this is a uh, it's a Mauser HSC. Again, it's a 32 short barrel. And one of the distinct things you'll notice is that it's got a off off production serial number and a lot of times when you see an off production serial number it's usually what they call a uh, lunchbox special where an employee would, would squirrel away parts bit by bit and take them home in their lunchbox and eventually assemble a, a pistol all together. So this is a Mauser. Um, we can see it's got some of the German markings on the other side on the, uh, on the, on the slide. 7.65 millimeter or 32 ACP yep. as, as we shoot. Uh, it's got some distinctive features if you ever see one in movies or whatever. The, the forward part of the trigger guard here is, is very distinctive and although not used in a Bond film, I believe you said you can see it on a Bond poster, That's movie correct. poster. Um, we were just talking about it and we think it is a late Roger Moore picture um, and you think it's for your eyes only? I think so. I, again, we re research it and... We'll have to look it up. Story. If anyone knows, let us know. But uh, it's very interesting. And again, 32 ACP. Um, this is one of the, the, the rounds that are prohibited in Canada for reasons. Um, it's a Colt, Colt cartridge uh, designed for semi-automatic handguns. Um, fits in line with the 25 ACP and the 45 ACP. Um, and we're going to shoot it because that's what guns are for. Exactly. To have fun. One of the interesting aspects of this firearm is that there's no slide catch lever as you expect. And what happens is that when it locks on an empty magazine, the slide goes to the rear. And when you reinsert a full magazine, the slide will automatically go into battery. There you go. So that's something to, to watch. Um, just as a little bit of uh, full disclosure here, we did try shooting this one in the winter last time we were out. And we had the uh, uh, trigger spring. The trigger bar spring break. It's broke on us. So we finally got it, well, you finally got it replaced, sourced one, and we're all set to go. Basic sights, a uh, little groove at the back, little blade at the front. We'll see how she goes. Now, would this be considered a hammerless? It's, it's basically a hammerless style, but it's actually a, a covered hammer. Covered hammer. See what we can do. It's firing very high for me. <laughs> that might just be my eyes. Sure. And the mag release is it's a European heel style at the bottom. Very stiff. Um, not the smallest gun you've brought that I've fired, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's starting to get into that point where she's a little awkward to handle. Um, she's very small. So this is a, what years would this have been? This would have been, a, if I remember correctly, around 42 to 47. I think they even made post-war as well. So late, it's a late war gun. Uh, would have been used as a Service gun, or would it have been more like police? It would have been an ancillary, so not front line, but maybe if you're, say, if you're a postmaster. Okay. That's a fly. So let's give this another run through. If you are 
are lucky enough to be able to uh, have these or get a chance to fire them. The ammunition is available. You got to search a little bit for it. Not everyone's going to carry it. Got a very nice reset on the trigger, mm -hmm. um, but again, I don't know if it's just the basic sights or it's my basic eyes that are giving out. But <laughs> she, I am aiming, having to aim below the disc in order to hit. Really? But it is very nice. I can see it being used in a small, uh, small holster as a auxiliary weapon, as you said, and it is fairly unique looking. Mm -hmm. very, very Art Deco. Yes, especially the front of the uh, the grip there. We'll uh, let you fire a few through it. Sure. As I say, it's a shame for you to bring them out and not get a chance to fire them. <laughs> they are yours after all. Still a fun pistol to shoot. Yes, very much so. And again, uh, a historic pistol. Um, definitely a wartime pistol. And it's uh, rather unique in that 32s uh, are rare in mm -hmm. Canada. So it's a good opportunity to, to see them out in their, their natural environment shooting. Sure. Thank you very much for bringing it out. No problem.